Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing good. Sorry I did not post a video yesterday. We got kind of busy. But I did make something. It just didn't work out. Um, so my favorite flower is a hibiscus. And I tried to make it yesterday. And no, it didn't come out. So that's why there was no video. And I'll tell you why. So we had our five leaves, which a little bit straighter than I wanted. But when we put in the center to make our little stem and the, you know, all the little stamen and stuff like that, it was too close together. It didn't leave me enough space on the side to look like it was coming out of the center. It just looked like it was part of the flower. So we're going to redo this today. I think I know what I want. What I really like is when you make it separate, when you make your leaves separate. Uh, actually, we have some right here. But like if you were to make your leaves separate just to have it lay over the top and I've drawn it out about three times to figure out if there was a cane I could make in order to do that and it didn't look like could could so we're gonna go back to this way so I've got a Skinner blend here and it's a uh, fuchsia and white this is gonna be for our petals And I didn't really worry about if it was perfect because you know you don't make anything perfect. Okay, so now I got that a little bit cleaned off. I thought I'd get a little head start by kind of getting everything together for you. This is just a, a yellow and orange Skinner blend. And I did the fan fold on this to where the yellow's on one side, the orange is on the other side. That's going to be our little stamen. And then I've got a little bit of bright green pearl from Sculpey Primo and that's going to be the center. So for the petals, I want to make them striped. And I kind of got the flower in my head. I know what I want it to look like. It's just getting it to look like that. And I'm doing a video today because I'm going to Las Vegas. My daughter bought concert tickets um, for Friday, so we're going to be leaving here Thursday, and I don't know if we're going to come back on Saturday is what she's thinking, but I might talk her into Sunday. It's just a lot of traffic on the road, and so if we can go a day early and come back a day early, hopefully we'll miss it. So basically, we're going to set it up like this. Okay, so you rolled my Skinner blend, then I cut it into fours. Okay, no, I don't like that. It should be like that. Okay, and on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll that pink up as far as I can. Like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to roll that pink past the white. Okay. Now we're just going to squish it all together. And we're going to do this about three or four times. And I'll get my blade out. looks funky now but once we squish it all together hopefully it'll give me the, the little stripes in the petals that I'm looking for I have so many ways of doing that and I think this is a good way I hope so getting there so 
help. Woke up this morning feeling crappy. And towards the day, it's starting to get better. I still have not been able to kick whatever I've got. And today, tomorrow, actually, no. Today's the 31st. On two days, it'll be a month. So I have no idea what's going around. I have a lot of friends that are getting it now. And it's just crazy. I'm ready for the heat. I'm ready to get rid of colds and flus for good. And be back to normal. I'm really hoping that I get better before Vegas. So I'm trying really hard not to go anywhere. My husband may take out the dogs. That's about all that we really do right now besides work. Just because we know so many people that are sick. <clears throat> My grandkids are sick. So it seems to be making their rounds. I have nothing packed. I have no idea what I'm wearing this weekend. It came up so quick that I'm just not ready for it. I kind of wish the show would be postponed just for another month. Because Vegas is really nice when it's warm. But I'm going into the same weather we've got. And it's been a little chilly out here. But it'll be nice to get away. Although I don't like driving with my daughter. Don't tell her that. <laughs> I love her to pieces. But driving with my kids is not my favorite thing. One's a sheriff. He goes way too fast. Um, he's just like his dad. He's a very aggressive driver. Then I have my other son. He's not too bad. I can probably handle with him. But my daughter and me, yeah, it's going to be an interesting trip, people. It's going to be an interesting trip. So say a prayer for me. And we get to where we got to go safely without killing each other. And, um, it's what, maybe a four-hour drive to Vegas from here. So, we usually stop in a town called Barstow. And then... Baker, which I think is the middle point. But I'm... I don't know if I've ever told you. I've had panic attacks for... Oh, since I was 22 years old. So... Over 30 years, and um, there was a time when I couldn't even leave my house. It got so bad. They started suddenly, and they were pretty strong. All right, we're going to stop right there, and we're going to leave this probably right here. So I'm going to put that together, and now we're going to make our triangle. Okay, but anyways, um, yeah, it got... I couldn't drive freeways, and so I had to figure out how to get to my old house or to my family down in the valley um, by just taking roads, streets, because I wouldn't get on the freeway. I still don't get on our freeway. I don't know what it is about our freeway that scares me so much, but I will always go around if I'm going down towards L.A. or something. I just I take a road called Sierra Highway. It takes me all the way down to the valley, and then I can jump on any of those freeways with no problems. So it's really weird, but yeah, there was a time where I wouldn't take um, freeways, bridges, wouldn't drive at night. I still hate to drive at night. Um, when my mom died, my panic attacks kind of stopped, which I think is really weird. It's like when she died, she left me her strength or something. I can't explain it, but um, I know in my heart that it was something like that because it's just amazing how much I've changed. Um, but the worst part is I developed something called agoraphobia. And what that is, is a fear of wide open spaces. And if you've ever drove to Vegas, it is nothing. It is barren land. So, you know, if I'm on a street or on a freeway and I need help, I know that I can get off the freeway, run into a house, run into a business, and I'll be okay. But when you're driving to Laughlin in Vegas, there's nothing there. And so, you know, there's, there's no emergency anything. There's no fire department. There's no nothing. It's just dirt and cactus and I hate it I hate the drive so I'm a little nervous about that but 
you know, my daughter once told me, Mom, just look in the beauty. Look at the beauty of it instead. And I was able to do that. And it seemed to help. But, oh, it's still hard. It's it's still hard for me. So I definitely need prayers to have a nice, peaceful drive. I will take some medication before I leave to ensure that that happens. But once I get there, I'm okay. I'm excited because I get there. And coming back is always worse. I don't I don't know why, but it <laughs> it's usually worse. Maybe because I I have a goal on the way up there just to get there, and then on the way back it's like okay I'm going back home. I, I don't know how to explain it. If you guys have had anxiety or anything like that, you probably totally get what I'm saying. Um, but for other people, especially my husband, he does not understand it, doesn't get it at all, and that can make it a little difficult. But again, my famous saying, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just how I'm wired. I've learned to live with it for a really long time. And I'll get to my destination. I just might take a different journey. And that's okay with me. So, alrighty. So now we have five petals. Okay, and what I like about the, um, the hibiscus flower... <gasps> Guess what I forgot to do, guys? Oh, I can't believe I did that. I didn't want to cut that yet. You know why? I bet you you can guess it. I wanted to wrap these in pink. So, we're going to have to do this separately. So, this is a number five. Darn it. See, this is why I shouldn't talk when I make a video. But it just feels weird to just sit here and not talk at all. So... Sorry about that. On all ends. So now we have to wrap this up. And don't ask me how I didn't make this even. Because it was even. I don't need a whole lot. I just want to... I just want to highlight the... Wow. I'm going to highlight the leaves a little bit. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so let me go ahead and do this on all of them, and I will come right back. Okay, so we're back. We've got them all wrapped up now. Okay, so the one thing about flowers like this is they're kind of flared out. But the hibiscus is also a little bit round. You know, they got these nice, beautiful, round tops to them. But they also have like a, I call them fluted. I don't know if that's what you would call them, but they kind of like have a scallop edge. So in order to make a scallop edge, I just took a little bit of translucent here. And I'm just going to make a nice little small thin log of white translucent and I didn't take really good care with that and the reason it's shredding like that is because there's air bubbles in it okay but we just need really thin okay and we're going to put this right here on each of them okay and then we're going to kind of shove them in as we make them around. So, we're going to do that on this one too. We're going to make it round first. And all I do is just basically round out the, the little corners right there. Okay, I'm going to make this a little deep. So, see, that's more of what I was looking for. The thing is, is when you start reducing this, a lot of what I just did will not stick. Um, you won't see all those fluted edges, and that's why you fill it up with translucent. And that way, that will help keep that little form for you. I like this one. Hopefully, I can get the other ones to look like that one. That one, uh, not a big deal. Okay, so again, we're just going to 
push down on the edges, kind of round it. Okay, get a little bit more translucent. Probably won't do a whole lot to them, but hopefully it'll give it a, a little bit of a a nice little look to it. And there we go. Broke the toothpicks, didn't I? Push those down like that. Get this nice and kind of like flare but round. So we'll fix that up when we're done putting this one on, making them all look perfect. Okay, so we got a little more. Fuchsia and red are like one of the worst colors to work with. The colors just get on everything. So if you work with fuchsia or red, make sure you wash your hands. I did not. And now all this is turning a little bit of a pink tinge to it. Okay, so I think we got them all now. I'm going to kind of just shove those in there. Okay. We're going to kind of flare them out and round them at the same time. So I didn't want them straight. So I'm not sure if this is going to be the final right now. I'm just kind of laying them out just to see how big they are and how big I'm going to have to make my little center stem right there. Okay, so it's not going to be that big, which I'm okay with that. Okay, so that is going to be our pretty flower. Okay. And now, now we're going to take a big piece here. This is the purple or the bright green pearl. I'm just kind of conditioning it a little bit. I'm going to want it the same size. Ah, squish. You can run it through the pasta machine. I didn't because it was just such a small amount. Okay. So I kind of want to make it a teardrop. Okay, but I still need to go an inch high. Just a little thinner on the end. Okay, so that's what we're looking to do is put that in the middle. But we also need to add translucent around it because we don't want it to be coming or attached to the flower. It wants to be coming out of the middle. Okay. So the very bottom, I'm not going to put any translucent on it and I'm going to stick it to this petal right here so it looks like it is attached on the flower and then it just kind of moves out in the center. So, 
We're going to have to make this smaller. Okay, so we're going to move this for now. Okay, and we want to see how far. Um, I want to wrap all this with translucent, so I don't want the stamen to be, you know, way out here, because then I won't be able to reduce it in that shape. So I'm going to need to go half the size. Not half, maybe about a quarter off is all I took. Okay. And we're going to have to make this thinner. Okay, so I'm thinking about right there will be perfect. And we're just going to go a little smaller. Okay, so you still keep working with it till you get that nice teardrop shape. Okay, so now I can do that and then wrap all of this in translucent. So it looks like it's attached to it and it's coming off. And I don't need that wide of a teardrop. So we're just going to kind of thin that out a little bit. And what are these at? About an inch? I don't know if they ended up being a little longer. They're not even at an inch. So we're going to cut that much off. Okay, and get that shape back. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and then remember, we're going to make this closer. So we're going to add some translucent, and I'm going to keep this at a zero. Okay. And I don't want it to go on the bottom. I want it to come out of the bottom. Hmm. I just want to check and see. Yeah, this translucent is so hard. I tried conditioning it and it's still crumbly. All right, let me see how that's going to work. I think that'll be okay. I'm going to leave it. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to bevel it a little bit so that it fits a little better on the side. Okay, I'm going to do the same on this one. If I can get it off. So we just want that inside gone a little bit. That way it'll lay down a little easier. Don't worry if your stem isn't straight or shaped perfectly, because you know stems, they kind of, you know, they kind of hang off like in the wind. I'm going to move around a little bit. Okay. So there. Now I'm sitting here going, okay, is that too long? Okay. So I kind of want it like that. Okay, so now... We're going to work on our stamen right here. And I already wrapped this in a little bit of translucent already. This is the fun part. Kind of want some that are thicker, some that are smaller. Because you're basically just going to attach them here. You know, you can put a little rogue one right there.
So now you're just going to maneuver them everywhere. Okay. This has got a little bit more translucent, so I'm going to do it so it doesn't seem to be all crowded in there. For time constraints, let me go ahead and reduce this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and we got it kind of thin. I did take out the center, though, and the reason I did was I wanted to put a little border around that, and I still think if you were to, I don't know, if you want to sit there and do semantics and, and look at perspective and look at the size of the middle compared to the leaves... This is still way too big. So I made a really quick one. And we need to go up. So I'm going to push all that in. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to try it here. And especially if I decide to add. A darker piece and a bunch of translucent. We kind of want this thinner. So sorry about that. I get to thinking and, and I'm always changing things around anyways. You all know that anyways. So. Okay, so again, it's a little too long. So I'm going to cut it about right there. Okay, we still need to go a little higher, just a little bit. Okay, we've got one piece that's thicker on one side and thinner on the other. So we'll come in here and make sure that we got a nice thin piece. Okay, so I'm thinking I probably like that a little better. All right, so now, again, let's run this through. And this one just take to your thickest setting. Okay, so I don't want it on the back end of it. So it's not perfect. did it again. Wow, I don't know where my head is today. Guess what I forgot? The same thing, reason I took the other one out, huh, was I wanted to coat it in a nice darker green. Okay, let's thin this out by going double side here. And I have this one on a five. I don't want it really big. I just, I just want that little bit of a highlight so that it stands out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so of course that adds a little bit to it. So now we're going to have to work it out a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to kind of squish it just a little bit more because I want to keep it at a circle when I go to reduce this. So I don't want anything going past about right there. So we'll go a little 
a little smaller. Oh, we're just going to cut off that end right there. That's a little better. Okay, let's run this through. And we're running this through at the thickest setting like we did before. But we're not going to do the bottom. And I know it seems really thick, but I think, I think we need it thick on the bottom. Just so it looks like it's in the middle. Okay, so we're going to do what we did before. We're just going to thin that inside. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this one if we can pull it off. Might be easier to do it this way. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I like the I like the green around the outside, I have to admit. Just gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay. All right, so we're going to open this up. Okay. And you'll see how it's kind of fitting in there perfectly. All right. So now we're going to roll a bunch of logs. And we'll start putting the stamen on there. And then we'll fill up, obviously this side with translucent which we should probably do now because I have a feeling if I don't do it now it's all gonna move mm, I like it to go a little thicker Okay, let me go um, condition some more translucent clay, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back, and we got everything in a very tall triangle here. I'll show it to you when I get all five of them. Yeah, I hate old clay. You have arthritis in your hands. It's really tough to work. I just can't wait till the shortage is over. So I'm hoping it'll be soon. Okay, so we made it really thin because we want to thin it in like right there. This is a dumb way of taking off translucent, so I don't recommend doing what I just did. Okay, so now I'm just kind of looking at it and seeing how far I really want these to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut off like a quarter inch and I'm just going to make this a little thinner. Get it back to the inch that we want. Okay, so that's a little better I think. Okay, so now you kind of got to make room for everything. Do the same with this. So one, two, I just need two more. Okay. 
So see how that petal got a little flat. So I'm going to try and everything kind of changes. All right, so this one I really got to bring down. Uh, again, I tell you how much I hate hard clay. You can see this, but there's just like a little area that I didn't get. I was a little short on this one too. So we're just going to flatten a nice little piece and put it right on top. Okay, then make sure you turn it around, obviously, and look at the other side. I'm not worrying about that part. Okay, so you kind of want it nice and round. Okay, so in the inside here, we're going to end up putting a little bit of clay right there. Okay, because we want to fill all that up. So, we got our stamen in there, or, yeah, we do. We got our little end in there, the stem. So now, see how that goes in there? But you got this little spot that's right next to it. So, this is a little tedious. Just fill up some of those areas with your translucent. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to add some of this. I'm going to take my translucent to a number three. Okay. And I'm just going to line those petals. Yeah, I know that wasn't really the best cut. <laughs> it's okay. I do things backwards, but just like my driving, I'll figure out a way to reach my destination. Okay, so we're just going to do this. I'm going to cut that right there. And I'm going to come in here. This way we got a little bit of space in between the petal and the stem and everything else that we put on here. All right, so now we can go ahead and shove this in there. I'll we'll put that over there. And if you want, you can take a little bit of translucent. You can put them in between. That way they won't be so cluttered. Okay, hopefully that made sense. And then we'll just put another one right there. And we'll put another one over here. Okay, and then we're just going to add a little more translucent. And then we're done, guys. And I just got to cover it all with translucent. And then we're ready to reduce. I'm sorry that this video got longer than I had planned. Somebody said, oh, you need to keep your videos down around 10 to 15 minutes. And honestly, I don't know anybody that can make a cane in 10 to 15 minutes. So that will never happen. Um, you can play it on fast speed. You can obviously forward through this boring stuff. But yeah, I can't get my, I can't get them any smaller. There's just so much so many steps to do this that uh, I couldn't do it. So don't watch my videos unless you have a lot of time because obviously they're pretty long. But hopefully they're informative and that you like them. So 
So I'm going to just make a couple more logs here and we are done. Put one right there. Put one of these right there. Okay, and maybe we'll put one figure that out here. So we're going to set that one down there. And we're going to put that right there. So maybe what should we go? We're going to go just like that. Okay. So on this one, I am going to run this through a six. that and since we have two more cut we're going to use both of these okay so we're going to do that there we go and do that That one right there. Okay. So now we're just going to roll. Let's see how we're going to do this. What we want to do is we just want to fill up all these spaces now with translucent. So that we get pretty close to the top of that flower. There's not a whole lot. So that won't take long. Okay, so now we're just filling everything up. Okay, so maybe one more right there and we are done. Okay, so now the only thing left for us to do, I'm going to get it nice and shaped like that, is now I'm going to take this translucent at the thickest setting and I'm just going to cover all of this in the translucent clay and I will reduce it and I'll come back for our final cut. Thanks for staying so far. Alrighty, so we are done reducing. And there's that old saying, three's the charm, or the third's the charm. I'm hoping the second one is the charm today. So, I'm not going to worry about the ends. I'm just going to leave them alone. I could probably reduce this just a little more. So, I'm going to cut that about right there. And then we'll cut them in two inch strips. I got a couple different sizes here. I'm afraid to look at this. <laughs> you ready? Alright, we're going to bring the camera down. Oh, okay. That one didn't come out as bad as my other one. So these are a little bit better. So, again, I guess it's going to be thirds of charm, isn't it? So, we could add just a little more um, translucent around the sides. So even the thickest setting wasn't enough because I really wanted a lot more translucent to show in the middle but tell me what you think tell me if we need to do it one more time with um, thicker translucent on the side but there is our um, hibiscus flower so I hope you guys liked that and it was fun and we'll talk to you later bye and I'm back really quick I wanted to show you a little trick I think these flowers are going to be working out perfect. So if you take a really thin piece of this flower, okay, and pull, oh well, maybe not that thin, or my hands are just real sticky, so you got to be careful with that. 
But anyways, pull on the petals and pull them out like that. And you can really see the translucent in the center when they're pulled a little bit. Let's see if I can get this on here without breaking it. And then you can use your brayer or whatever. I did it earlier and I didn't break it though. And these aren't worked in there perfectly. But I just wanted to show you. So they're actually not too bad. I think after we bake it we'll see how much translucence on the side. So I'm just going to bake these pieces for the heck of it. And we'll see what it looks like when it's done. So alright guys, now I'm gone. We'll talk to you later. Bye.